David Lee Roth, Eat Em and Smile, 10 tracks, 31 minutes, the debut solo album from a legendary Van Halen frontman. Jimmy's in the corner fucking creaming his pants right now to do this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> released July 1986 by Warner Brothers Records, produced by Ted Templeman, recorded at the Power Plant Station in New York, as well as Fantasy Studios and Can M uh, Recorders in California. Four singles were released in Yankee Rose, Going Crazy, That's Life, and Tobacco Road, taking the album number four in the US. This uh, often was more than not compared to favorably, sorry, in reviews to Van Halen's 5150 at the time. Mm. Uh, and the lineup was rounded out by Billy Sheen on bass, Greg Bissonnette on drums, and Steve Vai on guitar. Uh, I hadn't heard this album in a long time, and I really enjoyed going back to it, to be honest <laughs> yeah. with you. Um, it's David Lee Roth, and it's unmistakable. He brings his classic attitude to this, and it's fucking great. Put a pretty handy band around himself as well. Just a little bit. Just yeah. just some reasonable musicians in there he managed to dig up. Um, Vi's fingerprints are all over the songwriting yeah. in this too, and I just, I, that's a great thing, because I love Steve Vi's stuff. <laughs> um, the guitar solos are amazing, um, but the one in Last Night in Buffalo will make you piss your pants. Did me anyway. Um, I would have preferred Van Halen to actually go down this road in the uh, in that part of the ocean yeah, than, than the road oh, they did. Personally, that's me. It's a taste thing. Um, this is 80s hard rock and it's oozing with all the excesses of the 80s and mm-hmm. everything it had to offer. Um, I love the cheeky covers on this too. I know he cops yeah. a bit of shit for them, but, but, and only Dave could have done them like that and yeah. done them so well. I reckon it's great. Um, it literally smells like hairspray and cocaine, this album. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is also a very, very good thing. If you love classic Van Halen here and you haven't heard this, you definitely should. It's great fun. It's big rock. Tight jams and even tighter pants. Um, <laughs> I gave it 9 out of 10. The highlights of me were Ladies Night in Buffalo, Tobacco Road, Elephant Gun and Bump and Grind. Has anyone listened to David Lee Roth and thought, gee, that guy's got a fantastic voice? Yes. Yes. No. Yes. no this, oh, this is a go. surprise. Now it's on. <laughs> this is a genuine surprise to me. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the, the absolute highlight of this album is there are some fantastic guitar solos in here, but the problem is it sounds like a wailing meth goblin in the background. <laughs> 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 like, Jesus, Jesus Christ, wow. man. <laughs> like, a wailing <laughs> meth goblin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm and I'm not wrong, to be fair. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, look, t- I, I really, <laughs> this really is, ticked mate, me off, to be <laughs> honest. <laughs> this whole record really t- Really? Yes. <laughs> oh, so wow. if you can't tell. Um, yeah, but like I really, I, I'd give it, I gave it a two. I couldn't give it lower than that purely because Jesus. some of the musicianship on the oh. back, on the back. Some of the, the musicianship <laughs> is fantastic, but I am stunned that there are such talented musicians on here and they still manage to produce that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well. Tim's, uh, Tim's used to working with great guitarists. Highest standards possible. And much better vocalists, clearly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, vocalist. Chief yeah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> is awesome. I'm sorry. That's I thought sorry. I was going to be the bad guy. Um, I've never heard this before. Um, I know it's a solo album, but there is a very familiar vibe in the drums and guitar, especially on a track like Shy Boy. It's very Van Halen. Since it's a, a solo album, you'd think he'd be moving away from that. I know he's David Lee Roth, the face of Van Halen. Yeah, but that split was acrimonious, not, not yeah. mean. So. But then when he goes into the big band stuff, and I'm saying he should be do, doing something different, and you get this big band type shit with I'm Easy and That's Live, it doesn't really work. It's just really fucking annoying. Um, he's got a few different styles throughout the album and it doesn't flow very well. Overall, it's a disjointed listen. Some songs are great, some songs I'd skip very quickly. And this reminds me of why I prefer Sammy Hager. Um, 6 out of 10, Ladies Night in Buffalo and Tobacco Road. Yeah, great opening track featuring the heavily Lee Ross personality, cheeky yeah. persona and stuff. Yeah. Very catchy song. Um, that's pretty much his trademark as, as, as a front man. If, yeah. if you like that, then you probably will like his solo stuff, especially the first couple anyway. Yeah. Um, Shy Boy, yeah, again, like you, I thought that could have been a Van Halen mm. song. Yeah. It was, it was, yeah, I guess a little tad too much. Oh, look, I've got a great guitar player too, just so mm, you know yeah. that I'm not missing Eddie Van Halen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've got this guy over here, Steve Vai, <laughs> you know, he's all right. Um, it's it's still very playful, so it still lends that yeah. Van Halen style. Um Either you like it or you don't. I'm, I'm on the fence with it. I have to be in a certain mood to hear this stuff. Mm. I, I, I don't... There's some people in the room to my left who are not going <laughs> to like this comment, but I am a Sammy Hagar fan more than I am a, a Lee Roth fan. Um, with 
you know, Solo and Van Halen. Oh, um, <clears throat> love you, Jim, but I've got to tell it how it is, Van. Um, she often talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> I love you more. <laughs> um, yeah, look, it, I, I, I have the oh. same problems with it as... as um, Dave, I here, Dave. Dave, Dave. Yeah. I forgot what his name was for a second. That's a card. I forgot Dave, your name. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. I'm trying to block it all the way out. Um, <laughs> yeah, look, I don't like the mixing of styles and stuff like that. You know, and, yeah. and and there's a there's a point where you can be playful and have your persona, but then there's just bullshit and yeah. crap. And 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 there, there does have a few of those on there. And I know that's a big part of Lee Roth, and that's a big part of what I don't like about Lee Roth. Mm. You know, I've never been into those. Jokey, yeah, spoken, wanky. Yeah, I, ne- I never says. liked it from any band, and it's just not me, just solely on Lee Roth. Anyone who does it, I fucking don't like it. Um, but this some, is true, we know this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't like that shit at all. Um, <laughs> some incredible guitar playing, obviously, with Steve Vai. We all know what he's done afterwards, and you know who he is and what he's gone on to be. So that, that's, that's not a, a no brainer. Um, it's not consistent, the album. It's uh, some really great stuff and then there's some really, really average. There's nothing in between that sort of bridges that gap for me. Yeah. They're either fantastically great songs or they're mediocre. Mm-hmm. Um, production is slick and polished. Like, yeah. it's still, if it was released today, it would sound fantastic. It still sounds good. Yeah, yeah. It, it holds its own there. Um, the highs for me were Shy Boy, Yankee Rose, and Big Trouble. Um, the low point was I'm Easy. I just think that was just a yeah. fucking rubbish yeah. fucking song, that. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> although, on, on, on reflection, it would have been awesome to see him on this tour mm. um, because he was still in good shape. You still look good. You still sounded right. okay. <laughs> um, I, he is one of the best front men. You can't take that away from him. Yeah. When he was on, he was fucking on. You, know? yeah. you can't take that away. Would have been good to see him on this tour. I did rate it highly, although... Yeah, I think if you take some of the some of the shit out of it, yeah. it, it could have been a really really good short, say seven song album, yep. and it could have been a classic. But yeah, eight and a half, I gave it. Though. Okay. If I look, I like Van Halen with uh, Dave. Okay, I'm not a big Sammy fan. Yeah. Um, Sammy's a better singer, much, Fuck, yes. much 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 better singer, vocal vocalist and all that kind of stuff. Much better tone, if like this, but it's Dave. You know, it's um. That's the it, problem. It's Dave. Uh, I, can, I can see we're going to have to revisit Van Halen at some point. Um, so bring it. So look, we're not <laughs> we're not found out. Um, done. So we're not when I heard that uh you know Dave had left Van Halen, who's going to do solo thing. Um, and then I see Van Halen on TV with some guy in fucking white overalls playing guitar. I go, what the fuck's this shit? I was hanging up for this arm. So when this came out, this blew me right straight away. Um, the first thing that that I um the first what that came to my mind was that he's replaced Eddie with someone that's just as if not. Better technically. Um, now this gets back to our whole Hendrix and Stevie Ray Vaughan. Nah, thing as the well. feel is completely different between those two guitarists. I still, yes. work, I still reckon Stevie Ray is technically as a guitarist a better technical guitarist. Maybe technically technical. better, yeah, but, but feel, split, feel. Split nares, but yeah. <laughs> It's but a I think difference in the way you can take in a song. They're signature players in their own role. Yeah. They you are, know, but as soon as you as hear as them, you know who they are. They don't <laughs> sound the same. Anyway, anyway right get back. <laughs> get back, <laughs> this, so, back to the point. The first Appreciate thing I heard that. is like, I heard Steve Vai, I heard, um, I heard <laughs> Dave, and I thought, yeah, he's, he's got, he's got his own Eddie on here. This is going to be great. And it was. I mean, I loved it from straight off. Um, I can see what you're saying with songs like no, That's Life and um, What's That One? I'm Easy. Was that the slow one? Yeah, it kind of drags down the album a little bit in parts. But this is an album where... Dave had to prove a point. And I reckon he did, hmm. right? I reckon um, he could. Look, this is either going to fail miserably, or was, or it was, or, or it was going to succeed. And it succeeded, it succeeded as far as I can see. Because if I, if I was, if I was to compare this to fifty one fifty, I prefer this. To be honest, yeah, um, see on the other way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I just think it's a great good time album. I mean, the band that he put in, the, the the band that he surrounded himself with on this album, um, top players in their own right, and he lets them shine as well. Mm. Um, yeah, he's all over the place. He's singing, okay, some of the lyrics on this are very ultra cheesy and everything like that. Some. Some. <laughs> um, but every band But that's his trademark. Yeah, so yeah, that's, 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 you can that's put that to the side, you know. <laughs> that's, his that's, that's, yeah. his, that's his thing. Yeah. Yeah. So. But look, I'm, I'm struggling to find anything that Van Halen did in the, no, in the same era that's as good as Shy Boy. I mean, I love mm. that track. Mm. You know? Um, Agreed. Yeah, Shy Boy, Yankee Rose, Ladies Night in Buffalo as mm. well. You know, it's a bit of an overlooked track as well. I mean, mm, I love that track. You know, 
<laughs> Someone's dripping. You're like, testify. Yeah. <laughs> I'm finding, I'm finding, I find it really hard to compare a lot of the semi output to a lot of what's on this album. Mm. I mean, I'm, that's much I really, I rate this album that much. Um, there was, look, besides the two slower songs, the covers there, um, there was, no, they're the only two duds out of these, what, was it 10 tracks on this album? Something like that? I can't 11, I think. It was 11? 10, no, 10. Yeah. 10, 10 for 31. Yeah, for me, look, it's a solid 8 out of 10 for me. All right. Well, this album is well loved by quite a few people. I know <coughs> one of which is sitting over there off of shop. Um, now, yep. this has always slipped by me. I never really bothered yep. to go down, because I was never the biggest David Lee Roth convert. My Van Halen is much more skewed toward... It's funny how divisive that is. Yeah, yeah it's, it's huge. It's remarkable how divisive it is, but I was, yeah. if I'm going to pick... If I have to pick a front man, I'm going to pick Hagar over Roth for Van Halen. Yep. Um, <laughs> I've grown... <laughs> shut up, I'm fucking barely starting. Um, is it me? Testify. Fucking, uh, <laughs> anyway, now the, my respect and appreciation for Roth through the Van Halen one that we did a long time ago has grown through that process the cover art for this is fucking what the fuck <laughs> just, yeah. what the hell I think that cover art is what sets the tone for this album yeah it's awesome I think that yeah. was Jimmy and Barley <laughs> wasn't it <laughs> <laughs> um, the comparisons but differences between this and 5150 are correct one is polished other is pure dumb fun rock Roth has been completely let off the chain for yep. this record and he's loving every second of it this kicks off with a bang and is overall a pretty diverse listen. Performances are very good, as you expect with the line from musicians. Uh, there were no way they were going to put in dub performances. Roth is better than I honestly expected him to be on a solo record. I thought that Van Halen, he had some backing there. But mm. on this one, he, sh- he actually shines out the front even more so. Um, and giving him more styles to work with works in his favour as well. Uh, you get to see more of him as a vocalist. The compos- composition is good, but overall I think it's a little bit too by the numbers. I think it's a bunch of musicians getting together for the first time, and you can tell. I don't think it flows quite right. I don't think there's... A- because that's where the whole Vi versus um, Van, Halen. Van Halen comes in for me, because the feel is different. Vi is very clinical and technical, yeah. whereas Eddie Van Halen is much more fucking feel. feel-based. And for this sort of music, I want more feel. I don't want it to be as clinical as that. Mm. It's all very well done, mm. but it's about taste at that point in time. Same thing applies to lyrics. It's good, but it's all been done before. There's nothing really new in that regard, but it's all so David Lee Roth. He's not trying to reinvent anything at all. He's just trying to have a party album for himself, I think, at this point in time. Production is good, but I think it's a bit too dense overall. It could have done with a bit more space and dynamics applied to it. It just gets a bit too... I don't know. It, they've got some great live vibe on it, but the and the clarity is there, but it just, again, feels too clinical on the production side as well. It, they just didn't... I would just want to get them in a room and just capture the room. It sounds that, like a Steve I album. Yeah, that that's you know, true, I think actually. he had a lot to do with the production yeah. there because it sounds like a Passion of Warfare, really. Yeah. So. I think if they were going to go the opposite direction of 5150, go full on, like rough it the fuck up. Get live in the garage and fucking record it that way. This is sort of like still trying to hedge its bets against what, where Van Halen... I don't know if the big band stuff would have worked with that kind of production, to be mm. honest with you. Like, it had to be sleek and big. Yeah, no, I, like, I would have yeah. liked this to be rougher overall and just go more down the party vibe. Just if you're going to do that, fucking double down on it. It works, I just think it needed a bit more balls to the sound overall. Yeah. I think it's, it's just, yeah, just... They dipped their toes or they should have jumped in the deep end for mine. Um, but it has been done. The vocal harmonies are there, all sort of stuff. It, it's good. Like, it, it's it, actually well done. It's just that when you're comparing how they could have gone versus what they did do. It's just where I land on it. I thought, though, that the track order was all thought out. Um, they've done a good job putting the different styles in the right places on the album as they come up. It's not easy to pull that off when this switches from rock to jazz to lounge to metal to 60s blues rock in one 30-minute album. Not hard, not easy to put together at all. I wonder if this album on its own merits would have been as big as it was if it wasn't for David Lee Roth. If that name was not attached to this record, would this have gone as well as it did? I don't think so. No. No. I don't think the songs are there for that. Um, so if I'm going to choose between the two, I'm choosing 5150 every fucking time. Um, but I do understand why people love David Lee Roth and I do understand why people love this album. I gave it a 7 out of 10. I picked Yankee Rose, Bump and Grind, and Tobacco Road, the cover song. Go on, can jump just, in. Can I jump in? He wants to jump. Okay, we have to jump in. Hi, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Merry Come Christmas. On, yeah. Hey! Uh, one, uh, just very, very quickly, one of the best things about this album is that it's also released... Uh, on an album called Sonrisa Salvaje. Uh, the the which, Mexican version. Yes, which is completely Spanish. 
<laughs> and Roth sings the entire thing in Spanish, and it's fucking awesome. Tomido, soy fácil, noche dorona en la culiada, and it goes on and on. On that note, check it out for yourselves. Let us know what you think. Yeah, South Park. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's also got taco flavored kisses on it. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? Fucking whole album instead. Yeah. It's easy with a cheat sheet. What are you doing, Shatner? Shatner. Yep. Shat- oh, I'm Who out for this. Who wants to go first on this? Uh, you're, you're out, out for Shatner. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to go You're out for Shatner. One. Yeah, I didn't get to okay. it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> You're yeah. going to lead a lead, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going anywhere, boy. Yeah. Apparently not. You're my bitch. You got Shatner? I've got Shatner. You got Shatner? Yeah. I've got Shatner. Yeah. I've got Shatner. Right. Shatner. Shatner. Mine's very short.